Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. While editing this video, just a quick note, and I know this will be the beginning of the video, probably I'll splice it in, but patch notes and the patch are coming tomorrow. We'll have this week in Hearthstone tomorrow to just get all that. I recorded this whole thing for it, so it, the timing's annoying, but it'll be up tomorrow, so enjoy that. But enjoy this video right now, and let's get into it. And I wanted to go over a topic today that is... I mean, obviously been problematic and bothering me for a while. And I, I mean, it's popped up in a lot of other videos, but I thought I'd try and go through today and really demonstrate or just communicate why I am worried about Hearthstone's future. And um, I mean, recently I did a video exploring like power creep in Hearthstone and basically how since Rosticon's Rumble, uh, every expansion has just been one like massive power creep over the next one. And we keep seeing that with pretty much every set. And uh, we've seen more nerfs than ever. We see more balance patches than ever, but there always seems to be the same sentiment amongst a lot of players is that the game isn't that fun. It feels bad. Like we're always waiting and talking about nerfs. I mean, one of the main things that does really well on my channel is like, what's the next nerfs? What's gonna get nerfed? Because we're always wanting a change because the game never feels great. And yeah, I, I wanna like, basically the inspiration of this video is, is a discussion I've had numerous times now with a friend of mine, a streamer, Cantaloupe, a very popular Twitch streamer. And we're talking about like, what nerfs uh, do we want to see happen that would make the game feel better? And we were both kind of honestly like, uh, we, we don't know. <laughs> we could think of nerfs that would make the game more balanced and stuff like that, but make the game actually feel better not so much, and it's it's a lot to do with just the increased power level, and the main thing that happens when cards become so powerful is games feel like they're out of your hand. It's, it's completely uninteractive and ridiculous to the point where you're kind of a spectator. You're, you're really just hoping you draw your really powerful cards so you just win with your really powerful early game turns, and that's what it's basically all about now is really powerful early game turns. I feel this is as a result due to constant power creep and basically cards that just create so much draw, tempo, value that you literally never feel like you're participating in the game unless you're the one doing these things. So I just wanna go back and like, let's think about why Wild was introduced, right? Wild back like during the old gods, why did they introduce the Wild format? Well, one of the examples that was brought up back then was we don't wanna see like every deck have Dr. Boom in it until the end of time because it's such a powerful seven drop. But like fast forward like five years later and Dr. Boom and Wild sees zero play. The card is really bad because every year they've made more and more powerful cards that just make Dr. Boom seem tame in comparison. I mean, compared to Jandis Barov, you made Jandis seven mana, I think you would still rather a two one and two random five drops than two boom bots. I mean, just compare that. It's it's kind of insane. By implementing this wild and like standard system, the team has the power to scale back power level in the game. And we saw hints of that. We saw them actually kind of trying to do that during the year of the uh, Raven there where you had Rostikin's Rumble is like the pinnacle of that where it was like a very middling weak expansion but they were trying to like you know we had kobolds and frozen throne we're so strong we're trying to scale things back and then they panicked they panicked because people weren't excited the expansion didn't sell well and, and they just went complete reverse and we saw rise of shadows power crept what one of the most powerful sets ever and then descent of dragons literally the most powerful expansion ever until like skullamance happened which is the next most powerful expansion ever and then forge of the barons and dark move like it's just a constant constant thing now where every expansion it feels like they have to want up themselves rather than try and create you know more interesting and powerful or powerful synergies rather than powerful cards and they just don't do that it's just about power level at this point and i feel like we've seen the the result the whiplash effect of this where this unfun this crazy power level has led to players just flat out leaving and i can't like cite specific individual players because well there's millions of thousands or whatever people but i'll use content creators as an example uh, we've recently had both solemn and rarin make videos about how they don't enjoy hearthstone anymore or they really struggle to enjoy hearthstone and they're either going to scale back streaming hearthstone entirely or just do like a little bit of it and just scale back they're not having fun you tune into their stream they're not having fun we've seen tons of hearthstone content creators leave like Raynad, Toast, Amaz, Forzen. I mean, they didn't all leave because of like the game feeling bad. There are some other issues sometimes, but there's a ton of content creators that leave just whether it's through burnout or just not enjoying the game anymore. And it's just kind of like, you know, symbolic of these things going on. And another thing, just take a look at the wild and standard vicious syndicate reports, the most recent ones. Look at the top decks for like each arc, for each one of them. They're basically aggro decks. They're pretty much all hyper aggro decks that 
you know, you can't even really beat them with any realistic strategy other than like a high roll of like a Highlander deck in Wild. Those are like the only control decks you see are like Highlander decks in Wild. And in Standard, you have like one with like Control Priest. And that's about it. And it's the main reason is how do you keep up with aggro? The power creep of aggro and its archetypes is it used to be you could run them out of cards, you could out heal them, and then you'd win the game. Well, now aggro is basically infinite card draw. We have zero, uh, we have multiple zero men of uh, draw cards like Cutting Class, Refreshing Spring Water, Swing all these type of cards and you have cards that just generate other cards for basically free you have rush minions that basically don't pay a price for anything they just get to trade away taunts and go face and basically these aggro decks dominate every single facet of the game and have been for quite some time and well aggro decks are not particularly interactive in any form their main strategy is to go face and then trade when necessary that's about it as an opponent to that your only option is to try and out heal them try and remove all their stuff and and maybe kill them in response but when aggro now has infinite card draw we have like a secret passage or you have like you know all these different card draw options card draw generation options or just brute power creep if you look at paladin it's just brute power creep you have a one mana novice engineer that tutors you have a spider tank that draws a card you often have a one mana better counter spell not only can it counter a spell but often it's negative for your opponent what spell occurs it can't be a downside but overall it's not the power creep is at such an insane level and it's all to the pretty much the early game where you look at forge of the barons pretty much no like game cards were even made there's like three or four that are like over six mana it's just, it's not a thing anymore so if if aggro and those type of archetypes are that dominant the game's not interactive in any way these decks are not interactive they just go face they again they trade when necessary and i think a startling like one of the most fascinating observations i've had is if you take a look at the core set cards that were added back to the game that used to be staples and wild are so pitifully garbage you would never put them in your deck anymore because the standard cards the cards that were made you know because wild would be problematic Dr. Boom would be problematic till the end of time are so crazy you would never run it. Are you going to run Shield Maiden, Tomb Pillager, Enchanted Raven, Feral Rage, Bear Shark? These were staples. These were really good cards not that long ago and you don't even feel great taking them in Arena. They're like okay in Arena and th that's it. Like there's cards that are just flat out better in like every class and it's just kind of insane. So why is this an issue? Why is this an issue? My issue with it is where are we going to be one, two, three years from now? If they're going to power creep and boost the power level of every expansion, where, where are we going to be in like two or three years? What are the cards going to look like? We're already seeing the pot, like the, the side effects of this power creep in wild. We're like APM meet mage. You have realistic turn five OTKs. I've had multiple, multiple turn four OTKs. Like, where does it end? Where does the power creep end? Like, are, are, is the game literally going to turn into a tavern brawl where it's just pure insanity? Start of the gate, turn one, every game. We we saw, saw into this with Deku Lunacy Mage. Like, it, it, we're at that point. We're getting to that point. And like, how are we going to keep going if they're going to power creep every set going forward? And is that going to be enjoyable for its player base? And that's the question I want to ask with you guys. Do you worry? Do you worry about the game just going way too far with this? I feel like it's already at that point where the power level stuff it, i just don't have a lot of fun playing the game because unless i'm the one doing the broken thing i feel like i'm just a spectator and not enjoying the game and there's no real comeback anymore there's so way hard it's so few ways of ever coming back as the power level especially if early game is just so absurd and i don't particularly enjoy that but i want to hear from you guys let me know in the comments below are you happy with this direction are you scared of it do you think i'm wrong on this or you know is this should we just embrace it and just go full you know let's see what broken things happen and maybe they do a full year reset a rostikins rumble and actually stick to it i don't know but i thought it was an interesting debate to have so let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends